Good morning. Time to rise and shine for Larkin Sunshine. And a brand new episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. We're going to start it off with Luigi. Well, I went to Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. He's pretty nutso, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. He sounds good to me. Which part of my story do you want to hear, bro? Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as my ship docked on the pudding continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once, I thought I was done for, bro. I may have screamed a bit to scare them off, you know, but as fate would have had it, a blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey of, of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now, Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they call him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helps me fight to Rumble Bump Volcano. This is this place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that would make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was his gigantic 100 foot tall statue that stomped around. Now the weakness of this giant statue, bro, was a red gem on its forehead. Now I can jump high, but not enough, but not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. Oh, you man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hucked Bluey up there. And bullseye! The white torpedo saved the day. That jewel got waxed. It was a critical head, and that stone statue toppled and crumpled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to where the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the compass pointed west to Plump Belly Village on the Strudel Continent. So I set sails once again and came back here to Rookport to recharge. That's not happened to me lately, but I'll be heading it back out soon. Hey there, I'm Bluey. This guy's a total liar. Don't listen to him. You, you, you heard his story, right? Well, he did. Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man. You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pills, my pills, skin's crispified. I'll never forgive him. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm blanking around with him. You'll pay, Luigi! So, every once in a while... Oh, not here yet. But yeah, every once in a while... Luigi will have a book in store. But now we are going to do some troubles and possibly get um, possibly get the tickets to the next chapter. Puny Elder. A life shroom. Uh, we do have one, right? Yeah. Oh, wait.
Yeah, we do have one. So I'll go get it and see you at the tree. We're back at the tree and I just realized something that I could have done this just a tiny bit later. Like after, like after next chapter. Sixty coins. All right, I will see you back. I will see you back at Rogueport. And we're back. What's this? What's the next one? The Beyond Parlor is having its grand opening event. Whee! Whoever takes his request gets something special from Lala, the, the cute kitty boo. Uh, sure. As we're going there, I want to head back to the docks for a split second. So we can invest with that rat-like person. I don't really know what the person is supposed to well, well, to me, he sort of looks like a rat. Oh, sorry. But yeah, I think you need to be at least constant with that or like whenever you revisit uh, earthquake jump man the W emblem mega rush I want to see if I can get this but that's going to wait quite a bit of time now So yes, we can dress up as Wario. Yeah, we've been in here before, but we need to go here. Hi there, cutie. Welcome to West Side Goods. What can I do for you? Oh, here it is. Well, here she is. Yes, I took on your trouble. Oh. So this I never really do, but I do really like the look of this. I'll be back in a second, and when I get back, I'll see you at... Actually, hold on. Pine T. Jr. Oh, my dad is in a world of hurt. Please, you gotta help him. I'm waiting at the entrance. To... Oh. Sure. I will see you there. And we are there. You took on my travel. Oh, I think this earth is just terrible. My dad went into the pit of a hundred trials and, and never came out. He lost his job and said the only way to support us was the pit's treasure. 
but I don't need treasure. I just want my dad back. Please help him. Let's see. Well, I'm just going to show what this is like. So we have Gloombas, who are technically st stronger uh, Goombas. That's a gloom, but it likes dark, damp places. Oh, seven. Jeez. Nope. I'm just going to whack it. So it's just going to be this, level one. Hey, what's up? I'm a mover. I know a few things about getting through this dungeon. For a few coins, I can move you wherever you want to go. Uh, before we talk to you, level six. That'll just take us to the next level, but let's go down five levels. And now, I will see you when I get to the toad. But... Actually, we... We're, we're really not supposed to do this until much, much later. But it's also a good grinding spot in case you need. But yeah. I'll see you at seven levels lower. Mm, level 16. And we see this guy again. We're going to go to the two levels. There he is. Huh? What? Who are you? Whoa! Wow. Did he come here just to save me? Really? Pine T Jr.? Wow. Good. I have to go, go get back out alive. Show me the way out. Yeah. 
Okay, let's go. So every 10 levels, there will be a, there will be a chest. We get a fire drive, attack all ground enemies and burn them as well. My dad's back. Sorry for troubling you. I guess health and family really are the most important things. You know. I'll look for new work. I've got to be strong for my dear son. Thank you so much. I'll give you my treasure as a reward. You get a silver card. And... That... Is all the troubles for now, and I'll see you back out. Back on. Back in the Western Plaza, or Eastern Plaza. So, I think I made my decision, and we're gonna go here to talk to him. This is the fortress of the Robo Thieves. See any notification? So yeah, we're gonna want to talk to him. Yep. Although, if you. I think this is one of the instances of games that if you know what to do, you can go ahead and do it. Really? Oh. So, I'll be back in a second. That's actually something that I can do now. Might as well power up the team before we head off to the next chapter. Uh, we're back here. Now, if I re remember correctly, we're going to need to want to buy a dried shroom. And a dizzy dial. Yellow and yellow. Okay. Yes. Whew. For a second, I had misremembered. So yeah, try Troom, the Dizzy Dial, in that order, then answer yellow for both.
What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef spilling out quick or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You wanna... You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See now to me, that's funny. You a student comedian? No, you ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for debt. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want her? You want I should run this bummer on a rail bus? Look at him. What a rube. You must like a pin, funny guy. Or do you just look for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He came to talk. No, that ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till you're done before you rough him up. You got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for, for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with him. What's that? You want to help some brawn who well, got herself kidnapped? In the rescue this damn you're collecting the crystal stars. The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in the legend about the, about the age of treasure? Benny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue. Don't listen to that lout. The treasure is as real as I am. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell you, I can help. But like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? I'm entirely sure I, sound, I like the sound of this. It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter... He looked with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall, then I shall settle this matter quickly and. With what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. So why did he hire you two? Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you. It's because you lugs can't find her dead. I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you don't say... Ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss, but it won't happen again. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my, find my daughter and her friend. Then can see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. So I'll be back to find them. Found them. Hey, back off, you creep. You want something, or are you just, like, sidling up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us? Take us to him. Frankie, what should we do? Daddy finds now. Oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. Dollface. Maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll. If we can just talk calm like with the boss, you'll understand. Capiche. Oh, Frankie. Hey, Frankie. Don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! Don't you see, mister? I beg you. Pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Of course. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to go write them out. So, I'll see you back there. Whatever should we do? We have to say something to that Don Fionda fellow. I must say, though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. No, actually, of all the times I've done this, I've never taken Flurry out for this mission. Yeah, different characters will have different uh, will have different text boxes if you if you have them out, which is a little interesting for this sort of uh, RPG. Oh look, who's go who's come back? The proverbial mustache. You gonna brighten my mood? So good, what you got? You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? Oh, is that a true fact? Rockport Harbor, eh? Well done, I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey, you two nimrods, the kids are at the harbor. Now go get them! Daddy, wait! Yeah, it doesn't matter what you say. Because they all just show up like that as well. Francesca! Boss, forgive me, boss. I, I am truly sorry. <laughs> Frankie, so, if I could come head hung, head hung low and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm, I'm the one who said it, we should have a loop. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my it's my responsibility. All to blame, right here. Daddy! Boss! Yuck! Enough! Quiet, both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter. You used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie. You are like a son to me. This is this how you repay your debt to Don Beyonce? I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. Daddy. Boss. I don't ever want to see your mugs again. You hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy. Dad! No, wait, I mean, boss! <laughs> Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you. She'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go. <laughs> Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. C congrats, both of you. Frankie, this is great. I didn't quite want to promise, but hey, thanks for now. Okay? Am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell and thank you. Um, yeah, what about me? You still here? Well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at it, how these things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal is a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. Who knew? That guy's got her smiling in the ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a pen. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I don't, I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. Well, unfortunately, we are going to have to come back. But for another reason at another time. My, my, we've done it, Mario. 
Next up, Glicksville. You got mail. Coopley. As life, Mario Coops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow. I'm doing great at drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers. I almost said that as pickling. Polishing my shell. This town seemed to be boring 10 years ago, but I saw it. But I see the world differently now. I feel like more Pillsbury more than more than you used to once you get back from your adventure coops. So where are you heading next? I want to see the wide world. Son. It'll be good for you, but don't go too far past that front door. Uh. So, here we are. And that's going to be it for now. Thank you for watching. If you subscribe to Sunshine, then you will have sunshine all the time. Good night.